Hey folks, it's Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic. Today what I would like to discuss or go over a little bit is the NVH app for noise, vibration, and harshness. Um, I bought this uh, when it was on sale a while ago. Uh, the main reason I bought it was for my Chevy here. It has a noise or a vibration in it and I wanted to see what it could do. Uh, John Kelly, Professor John Kelly from Weber Automotive, uh, him and his group developed this I think and I'm going to explain some of it. I'm going to take it for a ride but to get to the specifics of it which he explains much better I am just going to put a link down below in the description box and I will also uh, probably put it up here somewhere um, when I'm doing the video of his page where you can get the uh, low down on the whole thing so some of the things that I just wanted to point out was um, when you come in here you can pick your vehicle and my particular vehicle was the Chevy uh, 2500 HD 2002 which it doesn't go to so then you pick you can uh, pick your vehicle what you can do is pick your vehicle and if it's not listed you can go into here Chevrolet um, not listed uh, and then you can go into here what it is front wheel drive rear wheel drive four wheel drive and you can basically go number of cylinders rear axle ratio uh, transmission gear and your tire width and stuff. I'm not going to get into that because he explains it very well. If you want you can go to his website he'll show you where the stuff is at but the good part about it that I can tell you is if you look at your uh, RPO codes and know where to find that on your vehicle you can get all this information and put it in which is exactly what I did. So uh, he'll walk you through that and he can um, show you about that so for me I can go into recent saved vehicles and it's a 2002 25 Chevy with the door max so when we get on the road here um, we'll get it we'll go into that I did want to mention that I bought this stand because it was on it was very cheap in a bar you know uh, on sale so I bought this but you don't have to have this in a holder to do this you can actually have it on your console or whatever it has to be sitting on a non padded type place on your vehicle where it can feel the vibration to actually operate so I'm going to start it now and pick your vehicle recent saved vehicles the Duramax um, all my information is in there it knows that so now all I have to do is hit start and it's going to start and here's what it looks like and you'll see the spots flash red when there's a problem so I'm going to start recording and so we have our recording and we're going to take off now when it happens for me is usually when I leave off of the gas I get a vibration now what it's going what it's going to do is there's a first order second order third order and fourth order vibration now once again like I said go to Professor Kelly's if you want to know exactly because he's much better at it than me but my understanding is a first order vibration is it does it once every rotation you get a vibration so a first order of course every rotation it's going to feel the vibration so that would be worse than a second order so it gives you a place to actually start to try and find your problem now this may not be the best road but we're going to go to another road here uh, where I'm headed to go down like I actually do I want to do it out here in this little spot where I slow down and then we'll do it and then we'll go through um, exactly what we what we found and there's different ways to see this you got live data here where you can look at it that way 
rather than the uh, vehicle actual picture of the vehicle and it's giving you right now it's giving you engine vibration third order now right here there there is a good wine back back there so let's go back to the go back to this now see I felt the wine and it's showing uh, you know it's in the drive shaft and I'm hoping it helps me sort of pinpoint what it is it estimates the miles per hour by your GPS and right now it's showing 37.8 and that's pretty dang close. I'm showing about 38. So now we're going downhill here. And this is where I usually really see the vibration. So let's see if it does here when we... Okay, I'm going to shut it off because I'm just going to turn around and head back to the house and then we'll see if we can sort of analyze this and break it down. The only thing I did was I hit stop recording which was up here in the corner. Now we got this. Now what I hope is <laughs> I can actually remember how to do this. Uh, the diagnosis shown is the primary vibration detect it, repair the vibration per first, and then retest for additional. And I got a 2.0 second order tire speed related vibration. Now you got how do I fix this vibration diagnostic and totals. So how do I fix this vibration? Uh, second order tire speed related vibrations cause two shakes or distribution for each revolution of the tire, which I said, usually caused by something spinning the same speed as a tire that is out of round. Uh, there are over 77 conditions that cause a tire speed related vibration. Um, the interesting part is a tire and wheel assembly that is out of balance will never cause a second or higher order vibration. Uh, and here it tells you what to check. Uh, tire or wheel that is out around. Um, stiff spots in the tires. Four-wheel drive vehicle with axle front drive shaft U-joints, solid front axle, and drive axle problems. And then you can click there to diagnose. But the nice part is that it can show you how to, you know, it gives you a, a rundown of what this is. Um, so we, you can go to the totals. Um, you got 28 count on the first order, 132 drive speed shaft related variations. So there's really a lot that you can look at here to try and figure out what's going on. One of the things I also did was... Um, okay, if you come back here and after you open the app, and I was going to show this, if you go up here, it shows recordings up top here. If you hit recordings, here's all your recordings. Down here is today's. So you can actually uh, play the recording to see what was happening. Just hit play. And it, it should start. Yep, it started playing. So you can see this if you want. But if you go into the recording, which is really great, and you can export the recording and do other things, you can view the analysis and go back to the how do I fix the vibration um, and, and the other things that it was showing. So, um, great. 
that's that's good to know I found something out and then you can go to your totals but that that is a good thing that from the recording you can do that so I'm gonna um, do a little more in-depth analysis on this and um, go from there that's the way the app works that's that's a general rundown of it as I said um, I'll put the uh, professor Kelly's there you can get more from this but I'm gonna look at these things that it showed me hopefully I'll get back with another video actually showing what um, if the, if the uh, replacing the U joints or whatever actually helped so okay this is Mike the disgruntled mechanic just remember if you can get somebody else to do it you're probably better off thanks for watching thanks for tuning in see you next time